need to get underneath and then through the legs. No easy task. No. Just an unbelievable spider guard. Humalo, Humalo possesses and. I wouldn't be surprised if Murillo might even sit. Sit to guard, yeah. yeah. Try to. We have seen him do that before. Yeah. So far, it seems like he wants that top position. Yeah, it looks like he wants to do a fake guard pull to a single. There's that brutal over-under pass from Murillo Santana, as you mentioned, Sean. Trying to get on the inside, but <laughs> Humalo's not having it. <laughs> There we go. Up and over he goes. So that answers the question pretty early right now. We'll see. Now knee cut is where you do not want to be with Homolo. Slicing through your guard. But, but you know, one thing Marilla's really good at is he's very, very sneaky. He, he's well studied and he's very crafty. And so I would say what he needs to do is do things like that, invert, tie up mm -hmm. Homolo, try to confuse Homolo with some leg play. It saved him right there, Sean. Yeah. Almost got the sweep there against Homolo. Homolo able to control that left leg of Murillo Santana. You know, we highlighted the, the, the guard passing of Murillo and the guard game of Homelo, but uh, the reality is that these guys are just so well-rounded. They're no. so dangerous everywhere. There's yeah. no real position where you can just be comfortable no. on either of these guys. No, definitely not. Advancing to the semifinal, representing NS Brotherhood, Yabu Vinicius de Souza. Put on the lapel here, Murillo seen him get frustrated here before, tied up. Homolo working that patented spider guard, and I'm getting flashbacks from <laughs> being in that position. Something that's just, he does so well. If he's not sweeping you, he just has total control over you, and just such a frustrating game to deal with. Yeah, he has an extremely high level of ability to just lift people right up and flip them over. Like, now. Let go of that lapel here. Murillo in a decent position here he's to in, finish. He's in a very good position now. He's in a very good position. Homolo needs to be very cautious here, get a tight figure four. And I guess if there's one vulnerability that Homolo has shown, I guess, in the last year, it's that vulnerability to the knee bar. Yeah, this is true. He needs to let go of that lapel, actually. He's got the lapel. I'd like to see him let that go, actually. I think that's a, more of a hindrance at this point than helping him. Nice job there from Homolo to get his knee line out of that from Murillo. Just as you were saying that, he bailed on that. Yeah. Put on the collar there. I think that was a good idea. 
to see him get that foot on the bicep if I'm his corner. That's where he's really so good. Now Marilla's more in his house, they say, yes. right? So double unders, you'll go double under to over under. Try to loop his right leg over and step over that. Yep, there he goes. Then he'll try to move to over under. One unique thing that I see Murillo do from over under that I don't see a lot of other competitors do, and I think it's what makes him successful on his guard passing is his head position. He drives that thing right underneath your chin, yeah. which pins your upper body, and, yeah. and then the pressure that he creates always on his toes makes life miserable there for his opponents. Absolutely. But Homolo, as you said, no easy task to get on the inside. Yeah. There's that foot on the bicep. And he will lift you right up. Nice, nice clear there by Murillo using that knee to clear that foot. There it is again. Good counter to that foot on the bicep. Head down, hips up, almost baits you to put the hook inside, and then that's what he wants. Exactly. Just to get over that leg. Seems that over the years we've seen Murillo Santana always have something wrapped up. He certainly has had his share of bumps and bruises. Yeah. The amount of mat time that he puts in, but I don't see any. I don't see anything wrapped. Yeah. He seems to be see, no all in one piece here. Yeah, no excessive <laughs> tape today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> to go here. Murillo still with those double unders. He's the one that needs to do something. That's right. He's down. Yep. Just to create some movement to get a scoring opportunity going. Just not able to get over that knee line on that side. Yeah, both these men know each other very well. Competed several times over the years. and Certainly been here before many times. Now Murillo's starting to put a little pressure there. Almost creeped in. Well, Giving a little extension to... Keep those grips low on the collar. Como doing a very good job of keeping his knee line safe. Bahal 
looking for yet another world championship in a division that he has largely dominated for the last mm -hmm. several years, man. He really has owned this division and had his ups and downs this year a little bit, but struggled in the absolute against Herbert Santos. Yeah, got caught with some points early. Yeah. Just couldn't come back. Forty seconds left. Marillo trying to jump on a foot. Now going for the knee bar here. Omola should bring his foot inside, his other foot inside the leg. Not there yet. Pull that leg back across your body. Pull that leg back across. Still enough time here. 13 seconds for Muriel Santana. Omolo able to twist out. Yeah. Got his knee out of there. and He is going to be safe and Dodge. moving on to the semifinals. Yeah, dodged a little bullet right there, but... forward. Advancing to the semi-final, representing Grace Maha, Pablo 